No, fuck your coffee. <laughs> Hello? Wow. Welcome back to some more damn door commentary. Mom is being... <laughs> this lady. <laughs> Anyway, we actually have a new person on the end of the commentary. We have Ryan, who is representing Team Ninjas. Yo, what's up, guys? So, the link to the channel will be in the description. So, if you guys do not know, Ryan is actually um, in the league. <gasps> Woo! So, uh, what are you, Kaiba, right? Yep, Kaiba White, and, Kaiba White Dragons. Yep, so, we'll be getting that ready soon, but I uh, wanted to go ahead and make an appearance, so... We got Dragoonities, yes. Yeah, so Dragoonities can go down for two. Let's see what Dragoonities can do. <laughs> Dragoonities playing Harpy Harpist and Peril Peril Cerberus. What am I watching? I have no idea. All I know is that I accidentally unintentionally rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> so, Burning I... Abyss versus Dragoonities. So, let's see. Is your drag. Is your... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill this lady. <laughs> I swear to God, I am. <laughs> <laughs> But why the hell did he? Why would you ring on a burning abyss? I don't know. That was that was. Oh. Um, what what terrible mills? Terrible terrible mills. But you know, still get your graph. But burning abyss unhit. No, it, did it anything? They're just completely unfazed by the list. Like even they, the banning of Lavala Chain, and they're like, and. <laughs> yeah, it's. I I expect them to get probably hit on the next list just because this is the world's list and since burning abyss can't be played at world they don't give a shit yeah. they're uh, usually the world's list they always end up making it what does the ocg have and what can we do to just make it more difficult <laughs> so let's go ahead and ban chain to make sure that none of that lower tier two shit can pop up in our worlds yeah everyone's like nah man clown blade i'm like clown blade's not even that good in tcg we don't have infinity <laughs> mm -mm. Like, I, don't, I don't get it i don't get it he was like, oh yeah, they 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 went ahead and uh, banned uh, uh, banned uh, Volvo Chain to hit the Clown Blade because that shit's sacky. Like, oh yeah, and fucking uh, fucking, <laughs> we still got Chicken Race FTK and Blaze Between X FTK. So yeah, yeah, so that was totally their intent. This is this is what I'm hoping, D, that Chicken Race wins <laughs> and that Chicken Race gets hit. We don't have to deal with that shit and everything else in Tom's life. Can you, can you break the chain? Hashtag break the chain? Fuck that nigga Stratus. I want chain back. <laughs> right. Actually, when I saw that get hit, I'm like, oh my god. What are they doing? Every, some people were cheering, and then like 90% of everybody else was like, what the fuck was that shit? Let me see. I mean, I, I get some people were butthurt about chain, and they were whining about it, but I didn't think actually Konami's gonna listen. Nah, man. They were... I don't know what's going on with that, but it was pretty... I think it's unnecessary. Like, great, Dijin's gone. Awesome. Not like every Necros player played it anyways. It just prevented some really stupid mirror match shit. But with Lavaval Chain, I get where some people are coming from on that, but at the same time, it's like saying, okay, so if we're trying to prevent future shit, what cannot say Digusto Emerald can make shit go broke for no reason? I mean, he was making Necros going pretty damn strong with two to three of them in the, in the extra deck at one point. And, and, and I just, I don't get, I don't understand people's arguments. Okay. I get it. Multiple world chains, your fucking blue loney, whatever, FTK, whatever. But <laughs> if we put the fucking Lavalva chain down to fucking one, you couldn't even do that shit. You couldn't even do the blue loney FTK. So, so Ooh. what is one in comparison to multiple? You know, with one Lavalva chain, what sacky shit can you do? Right. It's like, not worth it. I'm sorry, but unless a card is super fucking snacky and completely wrecking the game, i.e. fucking Jijin, I don't think that it's fucking healthy to take a card at three and bring it to zero. Like, really? Right. You didn't even test it at one. You didn't even see the wobble chain at one. You went three to ban. Like, that's, that's to an extreme. It's not even like with freaking Jijin where if you put it to one... Right. Like if, you, like, if you put freaking Dijin to one, and then put Lavalva Chain to like one, then, you know, that wouldn't resolve anything. So I understand that. But you banned both of them. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's just whatever with that. But it, the only thing is, is I see, I could see Lavalva Chain, like, I don't know if it's Sebastian's mentioned, but he thought, he has a little tin-hatted foil theory on this one that they ban the Lavalva Chain for a reason so it doesn't do broken shit at Worlds and they just bring it back later. I hope so, because 
I'm just saying, this is, I mean, you're yeah. worried about that shit doing broken shit at Worlds, that you're not even going to sit there and even think about fucking, uh, uh. Oh. Hello, phone. Oh, hello, phone. Not even think about chicken rice, huh? Is that it? Right. Man, this burning of this player is just going off ape shit. 25, yeah, 35, yeah, 45. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, well, clearly it doesn't look like uh, Dragoonies will be doing much still. <laughs> yeah, no. Everyone's like, ah, oh, Dragoonies with their new spear. And I'm like, bro, no. They don't do shit. Mm -mm. They're too slow for themselves. <laughs> it, it, I mean, if he, this dude top decks the right Geki right now, I think he's kind of okay, but he's going to get wrecked like on the next turn. This is, I'm calling it right there. Next turn, it's a win. Yep, this this duel is over. That was quick. It, Burning Abyss gets that, and no, yeah, Dragoonies is like, what's the point? I said I did my top ten. I still play Burning Abyss. I'd say right now, I still see their deck number three. They're they're still up there. The only thing I'm I'm seeing I'm noticing is that with Cleese actually Wavering Eyes fucking just charge the shit out of Cleese. Mm -hmm. Like they can still play like sixteen monster count and still get get away with shit. Yep, it's so. pretty sad. That's what I'm saying. I think that the, with Raven Guys, the matchup has gotten much better against Burning Abyss enough to put them up to, to spot number two over Burning Abyss. Yep, scoop it up. And that's it. Yeah. Actually, I don't mean that. I think Necros might have a. With Necros losing Shred down to one, which people were like, oh, it was at two anyways. I'm like, that's still one less. Now you have to sit there and uh, think your plays out a little bit more than just going, I'm going to go ape shit off the first Shred, and then the second Shred could be like later game bullshit. If only Unicorn got hit too. It would be nice, but at the same time, it's they have to. You have to think about it. Like it's either they're gonna play cycle, they're gonna play exo the the, the Kaleido mirror. You know, yeah, exactly. And hopefully, you know, shit, they can get away with what they're doing. But because their opening plays are still gonna be about the same, but they're, you, you know, know, no, no, big, you know, their big plays three. are gonna be a little cycle rough. still at three, so you know you can still do that <laughs> play. You can still Kaleido is still at three, so. You know, you can go ahead and finish your shit and get your search for the full, you know, for the full tribute. And you know, I know some of them are thinking they're even about putting back, putting a burial from a different dimension in the deck. Yeah, they go ahead and return the mirrors and return that shit. You know, some people are attacking, you know, warrior turning alive. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried. <laughs> I look at it this way: I if they can't, like they're still gonna be the best. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, if 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 uh, towers is going to be a big deal, I'd assume they're going to go back into um, <clears throat> playing decisive armor. Mm -hmm. So uh, it depends. It depends. I want to see the clear ratio to the necros ratio because if, it, if it's just going to be as big as problem as a uh, as a uh, you know the gym lock, then there we go. This episode. This, it looks like besides Royal Magic Library, it looks like we have another card that Konami should go ahead and ban. <laughs> And that's funny because we're Klee players. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, the uh -huh. thing, I, I I, get it. I don't think they thought Wavering Eyes through. Yeah, I don't think they did. It, it, it's Scout's fault. It's Scout's fault that Wavering Eyes is so good. Because if Scout didn't allow you to just simply just plus, no one would really play Wavering Eyes. Like, think about it. If Scout never existed in Klee's, would you play Wavering Eyes? No. It's a neg, like crazy. It'd be good. The thing I like about it, it's not just making getting the scout play like i've gone to where i've already went through both my scouts and i just had another wavering eyes and just went fuck it <laughs> get all that bring everything back and uh yeah it was just the, it doesn't matter as long as the tower hits the field you're pretty much set it doesn't matter what the order of everything is mm -hmm. at this point i i end up sometimes i'm like wow this actually makes bad shitty hands that you get the on occasional into really good hands yep you just be like fuck it those two are gonna come back anyways search get scout grab the other scale and summon the two and now your opponent's like, oh, well, shit. But with that, it also makes a Soul Transition not actually not playable as much anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't play Soul Transition anymore. Yeah, I'm taking mine out. I'm like, it was, it's good if you, it's, it, they both have their good plays. Like, I've, I've done it where I haven't found the replacements yet, but then again, I need a second Monolith and another and a third Stealth, and I'm pretty much set. Damn, that's expensive. That's like 50 bucks right there. <laughs> Hey, I'm I'm waiting for the store to get it because I already stockpiled enough credits to be like, hey, I can just get a whole new core of Klee's. Uh, hopefully the store gets it. Cause it seems like right now, I don't want it will go up in price. It's just as Klee's and get hit. Seems like the deck will only go up in price. I'm glad I took the I'm, I'm you know what? I'm glad I took the risk. I'm glad that I took the risk because I I made so much. <laughs> yeah, actually, it 
I didn't expect Cleese to be hit on this list just because of the way they were going, but because of wavering eyes, I can actually see not it's and it's indirect to support and just made it good. I can see wavering eyes actually being hit. Yeah, yeah. Just because of because of Cleese, it's either they kill the Cleese or they kill wavering eyes, and they might kill off the archetype rather than something that could support see, everything see, else. see, the problem with the wavering eyes is that it's actually a really good card to side against Cleese. But then Cleese utilizes itself. Like I said, when I do the card review, it's just weird that the card is bad yet good for Cleese, depending on who's using it and how it's being used. You know? Yeah. Like, if you're well, using a non-Pendulum deck and you wavering eyes your, your opponent is using Cleese, then great, you know? It's the mirror match. It's the mirror matches match on that stupid, you know? Damn. Damn. He's like, it, you know what? It, Fuck it. It's over. It's over. This isn't even like... This was like, hands down. Look at that. It's triple fucking Dante. Like, you don't even go wrong with and that. Then get hit. First deal at three. Dante's deal at three. Untouched. Right. So. I'm actually... I'm hoping some of the stuff gets hit. Like, that Star Seraph shit. Fuck that. I, people are saying that, it, it, you know, it shouldn't be hit because it lost popularity. But it's still it, just a super stupid plus. That doesn't mean shit if it loses popularity. If it could still do something. That's like... That's okay. Let's look at it this way. That's like he's saying people hate a Lavaval Chain because of the shit it could do in the future. Okay, so what could Star Sarah's do in the future? Exactly. Oh, the wow, same freaking reason. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to sit there and watch either two scepters or two chairs go off. I've I've been in a I've been in a game where Deltros was able to use two scepters and popped everything. <laughs> All right. Let's get another duel. Hopefully, it's a little bit longer than this one. Bear back. God. <laughs> All right, so we got oh. hashtag bring back shots so using counter knights. <laughs> Mr. B W. <laughs> Mr. Uh, I don't know what B. What does B W stand for? I don't know, but you know, I know what B B W stands for. I don't know what B W. <laughs> 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 oh, what the fuck? He's not playing heroes. This is oh, yeah. Ooh, hashtag bring back shots is not using him. He's using counter knight, and it looks like Mr. B W's. Possibly using Necros. Yeah. If, if I see that Dance Princess, yeah, that's yep. Necros. If I, I was about to say, if I saw that Aqua Princess shit, and I'm like, okay, it's to stop. Oh, clearly. Oh, there's that Vanity. There you go, number generator. Are we clearly. on the Yeah, we're, we're recording. Oh, shit. <laughs> clearly, freaking Necros aren't going to be winning worlds. <laughs> uh, wow, he just flips, opens up Vanities. Plays Clydomir. You can't do anything now. There's no thinking. You better play that MST. There is yeah. no thinking. Probably doesn't have it. Most uh, a lot of Necros players that I've seen don't even they sideboard MST. They don't even mainboard it. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm like, wait. Like, I get that the Jin Lock mirror match, but you need to put back your MSTs. Floodgates are. Th uh, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I'm looking at Cleese versus this because mm. now the they only have one shred and the amount of big plays they can do. It's all the smaller shit that's got to get them into the game now. And even then. What the hell are they going to do if lose one turn is a thing? Especially at three? Oh, there is an MST. Wow, so you'd rather let him write a fifth on MST something else than chain it. All right, that's fine. So he wants to take out two cards. Damn. Okay. Wow. Okay, so don't, we wasted the Kaleido. Don't, don't ever say it. Don't ever say it. Sir, do you believe in the number generator? <laughs> Me? Hell yeah. <laughs> I've already, I experienced it in real life. I open up towers almost every fucking... And I play one. Yeah, I play one. I've been noticing that too. I've been seeing a couple of Klee decks are running two. And I'm like, but if you draw two, if you draw two towers, it gets caught. Like, there's particular cards that can help the deck out, but you just never want to draw them in multiples, or you, your hand is dead. And I've been testing and trying to work out the Klee deck, of course, because you know I'm try out the turbo experimenting. And yeah. I got I got 39 out of the 40 cards. So it's just just you know one card. As soon as freaking chicken race comes out, then definitely. But for right now, it's just kind of clogged. Right. Oh, if he gets it to know, is he tossed it up? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. You, you know what, though? Me? Here's the thing that I've been experiencing in real life. Not on the freaking Dev Pro, but in real life, is every time I'm playing my Klee's, I see towers more than I see Scout. Wow, well, that's crazy. I'm like, I'm only playing one towers and Scout searchable. Stop it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, okay, toss the Scout, you know, cause I, or toss the, uh, have the towers. Every time I play Duality, there's towers. Every time I upstart, there's towers. Towers loves me. <laughs> It's weird that Teller Knights are still playing Tarantal. It doesn't seem like you really want to step on your own toes when it comes to that deck, especially since the Gen Lock is gone. It's, I think it's more of, it's not that, it's not just that, I think they're more of, like they say like he opens up Unkali, then why the fuck would he care if he Tarantals because it's just the one guy? Because he has the Altair play, the Vega play, and the Deneb play. Yeah. 
So, you know, it just makes a brand new freaking monster. But, you know, because if, if, if I had Uncle Eye on the field and I had Torrential, I'd, I'd gladly Torrential if the shit's going to hurt. Fuck it. They'll probably take out Dark Hole, though. Dark Hole seems a little bit too strong. That gym lock really doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, they might. I, I don't know. I have to see what Satella Knights do. But then again, I've seen some really surprising shit at Worlds these last couple of years. I mean, hell, I remember the big lucky straight play from 2013, and fucker wins just because he rolls a 7. I'm like... If that's not Vegas luck, bro, that's... I don't know what is. <laughs> he won off a of lucky straight. Yep. 2014, I don't remember the, 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 the exact... I just know freaking Infernity's wrecked. Yeah, so, wrecked. like, what was the fucking point of, like, everybody else playing the good shit, and then here comes Infernity's just saying, nah, nah, bro. Why would you... Leave the freaking Uncle-Eye, what the hell? If you're gonna do that... Oh, okay, makes okay. sense. Okay. I was thinking he's going to Deltros. Smart, not a lot of people do that actually. Trev, multiple Trevs still down. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you never see anybody do that with an Altair though. Damn, get rid of that send you. Oof, that hurts. Yeah, Three that cards hurts. in hand. Kaleidom hit and miss. He's only got four, but he can still bring. No, he can't bring the Kaleidom back. There's nothing in the grave. Nope. So, what are you gonna do, sir? Right. You need to, uh, you need to kill something. I've noticed the, that all the Satellanite stuff's going back up. Yeah, with it being on hit on both ARG and this list, you know. Yeah, this, I, I sold mine, like, when they were, when I got an instant, okay, now you can get the mirror back. But I saw the, when Deneb was, or when the Satellanite started going down, because everybody the fear of the ban list, I sold that shit for, like, I only had three Denebs, uh, two, Al, two Nova Alphas, that shit that I showed you at uh, Utah. That's the stuff I had. I ended up selling that for, like, 115 bucks. Mm-hmm. I was trying to get 140, but, you know, 115 is never bad. And then I saw all the stuff tank, and I'm like, oh, thank God I sold this. And now it's going back up. I still have my Tele Knights. I did <clears> not <throat> like I'm probably just going to play them for fun. I'm not going to do competitive with them anymore. Nah, well, I, I look at it this way. I could see Deneb still going up and not hitting $40 status. I think it would probably be like 20 25 max. Because Nova Alphas ain't even budging. They're like 8 bucks right now. But, yeah, th I'm waiting for the Megatons to see what, what's going to be in there. Because right now... With what they said was going to be the reprints, Duelist Alliance is going to be a huge, a huge boost on those tins. Just by itself. And then everything else that played good stuff. Like, I don't know if they're going to... I don't know what their idea is, if they're going to put Dante in there. I, I'd assume they're going to put Dante in there to make the tins sell. That would be smart. Go ahead and put some Dantes in there. Dante, the Satellanites, the Shadals, the everything. Like, that would help make the stuff sell. Mm -hmm. Um, Cleese. I don't know how. I don't know how big the tin is going to be though, because last year's tin, last uh, Mega Tin wasn't like it didn't have everything from every set. It had like maybe half, and that was it. But Duelist Alliance is almost the entire damn box. So I don't know if they're going to be like, here's this, and then Cleese are pop partially in there, but not all of it. I can see that, so they can still sell the other stuff. Because I know Secrets of Eternity is still a thing on in the store, so, you know, reprinting Monolith would probably be dumb on their end. Yeah, when it comes to Cleese, I mean, there's not much to do. They came in new chant, what, for reprints? Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of Cleese stuff that's really popular enough to really call for, you know, a reprint. Unlike the other decks. You know, well, throw a Dante in there, maybe throw, like, a reprint of, like, maybe, like, Construct or something. You know, throw like a reprint of Deneb and you know sell them tins. I can see like I can see Scout being reprinted, but then again, Scout was so in in uh, you know flushed into the market after it got hit to two that every every if you don't have a Scout by now, there's a problem, and they're only worth eight bucks. Oh, there's the powerful cycle. Go ahead and piss that shit. Even that one. Yep. Yeah. You need to do a little bit more than that. Brio can still search it, and Unicorn can still grab it, like that. You need to do way more than just simply just shred the one. Number one. Was the shred a good choice? Yeah, but with in tandem with other things. Yeah, it's there's the one sure it, but like I, I don't know why I didn't go to Diamond. Why did he sit on Triv? Damn. Damn. Wow, Nikra scooped it up. What the fuck? So we didn't have anything good. I guess not. Wow, that hurts. You see that one shirt. <laughs> I have to say, what is what is Brio? Isn't Brio a warrior? Uh, yeah, he's a warrior. Didn't he can't... summon back Brio? Oh. No. I don't know what the hell he summoned. 
He sent he 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 had Brio in the graveyard. Couldn't he summon Brio? It was probably not a good play. Return the Triv. Return the Triv. But if a Nova Alpha's back there, then what? Get who fucking cares? He's got an Altair in hand to do it all over again. How, he didn't know he had a Nova Alpha back there. He might. He, who knows? It, that's pro if, if I'm thinking on the Necro side, most likely to leave Triv on the field. Because if you went to Diamond, I wouldn't even Nova Alpha my Diamond because my Diamond's going to do a lot of work here. But he left Triv. I assume he had a Nova Alpha in the back. I mean, still, you could have at least saw it. Like, you scooped it up before you even saw it. I know, right? <clears throat> well, some people don't want to play it out. If they just, they're going out, some people go off assumptions, and that's what really kind of makes some of these tournaments, like, not worth going. Yeah. Because the assumptions is what make you scoop, and then it's like, just play it out, people. It's a fucking game. Learn from it. If you're just going to assume he has it, what if he had a Book of Moon? Mm-hmm. Like, for reals? Uh, let's move on to round two. The Teller Knights beat Necros. Okay. I don't know, Mr. Big Words here. I don't know what to say for BW. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Um, I don't know. Hey, if he opens up better next time, I if I was Necros, I'd probably go second just to get the extra draw out of it. Yeah, they generally don't like to go first. Nah. Which may be their downfall in the matchup against Cleves. That's a thing. Please don't give a shit if they go first or second. They're still going to do what they do. Because, you know, if you allow them to go first, then they might kill you first time. If you allow them to go second, then, of course, Necros don't run that back row, so you're just giving them an additional draw to hit you with the killer. Right. And especially with, you know, uh, Isagi, like, hopefully you, Necros, go first, put the MSTs in, and hit them with the MST on the scout. And hopefully that they don't have freaking, uh, um, wavering eyes. Right. Well, I'm not surprised. Rhoda into the neb. Grabs Altair. Touch herself. Sets Nova Alpha. Come at me, bro. Yep. <laughs> it's basically what that shit is. How much back row? We guessing three? Three. Four. Oh, Holy shit. Damn, all of them. All of them. <laughs> well, at least we know what the one card in his hand is, but all that back row would scare me as a fucking player. Mm hmm. Shit. Rhoda. Mistake. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> that shit was funny with Chanel's. His opponent has triple rota. He opens up a stake. His opponent's like, oh, well, shit. Double rota. Okay. Wow. All the rota. Do you have another rota while we're at it? We're talking about triple rotas. You got it? Oh, nope, nope. Never mind. So so the thing the thing with uh, shit going down to one is it used to be really good to go ahead and call and mind crush and call shit when they, you know, go for their ritual summon because, of course, they're going to use the shit as a tribute. But now, if you, you can still do that play, but now you don't get to look in their hand. If you oh, do really? This, yeah, because it's already card at one. Uh, oh, that sucks. Yeah, because when you mind crush and you look in your opponent's hand, you're pretty much confirming that your opponent doesn't have any more copies. Of course, they're not going to have any other copies of Shriet in their hand unless, of course, they're cheating. But, you know, not just Shriet as one. Now, if you mind crush and call Shriet and you hit it, you don't get to look in that hand anymore. I'd rather hit the fucking Colossus at this point. <laughs> Why would I want you to grab your spell? See, that I'd rather mind crush the Colossus just to have it already in the grave and they don't get the surge. They can have their shit. Wow, and he has Brio. Yep. I'm not surprised. I always expect Brio opening it. This guy better have an answer for whatever the hell's coming because if you go Trish shit, that... Yeah, Trish is coming. So, hopefully you're ready. Hopefully you are ready. Did you bring enough lube? Good. Bring back Stratos. Oh, grabs Unicor. <coughs> Does he have it? No, he's going to go for Unicor. And you know why he grabbed Unicor, right? Oh! 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 That hurts. That actually does yeah. hurt. Mind Crush, plus, if you play if you play a Mind Crush on their Ritual, and you know they're going to go for it, it fucks them up, because now they have to go into something else. Yep. They have to go. If he lets, He can't let that go. He has to summon something else. Because if you legitimately can summon something else, you have to let the, you have to do it. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything else you can summon? Um, he tossed Brio, tossed Colossus. He played Kaleidoscope, so he, if he doesn't have another uh, ritual in his hand, then he couldn't. But if or if he has another ritual in his hand and he can be summoned, then yes. Because mm. what did he toss? Shrit? Mm -mm. No, he didn't. Mm -mm. He still has well, Shrit in his hand. Uh, oh, no, he was going to go for the thing. Well, yeah, it depends on what's in his extra deck, because his extra deck still falls for the rest, so he should be summoning a ritual right now. Mm-hmm. 
unless he just doesn't have the ritual monster in his hand to do the play. That would suck. Out of four cards, I would expect something blue in there. Like Ooh. It. Unless he doesn't know that he still has to do the play. Maybe, Not... he, maybe he just doesn't have the level to equate to the Kaleido. Some people just don't. Like, it, in legitimate sense, you're supposed to. If you have it, that means the play still... Wait, how does that go back to grave? Maybe he wants to banish someone else. Oh, okay, sure. I'll be like, bro, unicorn's gone. T stop it. Stop it. Put it back. <laughs> oh, psh. So I guess that's all he's trying to do is go for that. So he has Shrit. So he's going to go for Shrit. If his opponent mind crushes that, I'm going to laugh. Not really, but... Oh, wow, it's Cycle. Cycle. Cycle touch itself. I see Torrential Tribute. Does Torrential Tribute happen? Ooh. Shit. Ooh. It's kind of weird that he went with, uh... Wow. With the Unicorn play, I guess, to get an additional search off of the Herald. I thought Jeez. he was going to hold on to Unicorn to get Shrit back. Nah, not, not... There's still people, like, trying to learn with one Shrit, and this is one of those guys that just doesn't know what the hell he's doing at this point. Three cards in hand, plays Unicorn, has to play the Shrit, and his opponent still got some pretty beefy back row. Get, get the fuck out of here. What are you searching? God, I wish we had some Necros at Locals. We have everything else but fucking Necros. Mm. It's like 12 to 14. Ooh, that's going to hurt it. Yeah. It's going to go Exomir. Oh, he's going to toss the damn... Ooh. Ooh that... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So he can uh. make a bad play, and that just recovers the bad play. Yeah. Wow. Man, you better have an answer for that upcoming Trish. Searches Brio, grabs probably Kaleido Mirror. Damn. Damn. Oh, cycle. We can't play Cycle this turn, so it's okay. So now what? You gonna Trish him? Yeah, he's gonna Trish. So. Like I said, see? Even, even with one shred, you can still go stupid. Fucking people saying that fucking this deck drops down a tier. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Not even close. Can use slime ritual, blah, 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 monsters. This can use from graveyard. Oh yeah, I could, huh? Damn. Damn. Oh. 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 He had the answers. Yep. He just said, "Fuck your nipples." Wow. Just had the Phoenix Chains waiting. Hey, that's good, though. Fuck Trish. Fuck Trish. Of course, no additional search with Shrit. Uh, if it gets banished, I don't think it does get the search, does it? Uh, what does Kaleido say? Do you tribute it, or do you just banish it for cost? Uh, Kaleido's banished for cost. Okay, don't know. That's why if you play Mask Restrict against these guys, it actually, if in legitimate sense it hurts them, the only thing that can save them is the mirror, is that mirror he just played that banishes from Grave. But if you play Mask Restrict and an Iron Wall, they scoop. There's nothing they can fucking do. Because you can't, you can't uh, Ritual, you can't Banish, you, you're stuck. Hmm. And all you can do is Senju and Manju, that's all you can do in the entire game. Unless you open up Top Deck MST, but... <clears throat> why I didn't kill the Deneb. I guess he didn't want it in the graveyard for Altair. I guess. I guess he's gonna take those slow. Then now the dub's not too much of a threat, you know, it's better to just go ahead and keep it and then, you know, not allowed to do any XC base plays right now. So that was pretty smart, mister. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Usually everybody gets so trigger happy like, fuck it, kill the Deneb. I'd rather really leave it. <laughs> it's like my mom does everything to make noise. <laughs> yeah, stop making noise. <laughs> what the hell? He puts Trish in defense mode? Oh, he's afraid of Mirror Force? I guess so. Still not gonna push really tough, though. At this point, I just say, like, fuck it, some of the. Wow. Man, you better top deck something good to get out of this shit. Yeah, I'm double feed this shit. That was good. That was good. 
That was good. I he got two. <coughs> got to get fucked up if he didn't have another one. The problem is, Mister is not applying enough pressure. I definitely say, bring back Stratos is in control of this duel right now. He's got the control, but as long as he keeps the control up, I'd rather see more back row than see another monster. But at this point, I'd summon an Altair and actually start doing something. It's the mind and game. yeah, this shit's about to hit the fan. Yep. Hopefully, he's still got more cards. At this point, I would probably go ahead and Nova if you have it. If he doesn't have a Nova out of all that, there's a problem. Yeah, there's no shame in go ahead and negating that mind you and getting your Deneb to the graveyard where you want it because clearly he doesn't want to kill your Deneb it's just the problem because since he's not killing your Deneb that just leaves you more chances for Nova yep <clears throat> are you kidding I had Nova Alpha the search fuck this shit yeah definitely that's all this deck is it's Bing Cleeforts or Google <laughs> <laughs> Spellbooks or Yahoo <laughs> yeah I don't search enough. Please search too much. Necros just searches to search. I don't give a shit what they search. It still works. Who the fuck uses Bing? <laughs> I am just saying. No <laughs> we have too much search in this game. Bing. Stupid. They're like, oh, look, it's better than Google. Like, oh, that's nice. Uh, Google? <laughs> hey, I could just be like this. Ask Jeeves? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck is Bing? I don't know. Let me Google it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please, what'd you find? Oh, well, this ought to be an interesting. Okay, so I guess you're just going to start tributing your shit and drawing cards, it, I guess? He can play it. Yeah, he has to make a, what, a 10? Oh, that's an 8. He has to have exactly 8. Yeah, he could do it. Get rid of the 2 on the field. At this point, I'd overlay those 2 and just start recycling shit. Wish I could view his grave, but... Can't exit on. No, he's not going to exit on, but he could make like the Gusto Emerald. He could. This is the point where Levival Chain would actually be good, but you know, sorry. Mm. He's going to make that Gusto. Make one on one. Castell. Castell would be good. Castell. Nope, there's Castell. Yes. Hmm. That's all I ever see this deck. E, you know, exceed into what? What the? What? Let's Stop it. You have a response on summon. That'd be smart to go ahead and play it. You need to stop that castell from bouncing your Deneb and you're gonna lose. Yeah. Bad. Nova Alpha. Do it. Do it. Do it now! <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the Nova Alpha! Oh, wow. Look. Okay. <laughs> Throws the book at him. So definitely next turn you have to push. You're gonna have yeah, to summon that Altair. Because Deneb isn't even strong enough to get over that booty of Castell. Nope. Have you seen the Ulti Prince of Castell? There's Ulti Prince of? Oh yeah, I've seen him. Pretty... But, I but I don't like Ulti. That's true. Ulti is still my <laughs> least favorite rarity. <laughs> I love Secret. <laughs> oh man, I just got myself a Secret Gungnir just for the picture sakes. Oh, you better summon something good. If it's another Deneb, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be, that would be fantastic with another Deneb. He said, you need to push. Even if it's summon Altair and get no search, you, you need to kill that Castell. Oh, go. that's even better. That's even better. That's a beautiful top deck. Watch, he goes Unk. He's going to get Unk. It's going to be bad and get Unk. Grab the Unk! What are we going to do, sir? <clears throat> I don't know. In this kind of particular situation, because Trish is there, I actually, if because Phoenix Chain is on Trish, I would actually probably leave Trish there and let the mirrors suffer in the grave. Hmm. That's probably a, a more optimal play is to le actually leave the Trish. Because hmm. I would probably right now, I would probably search for a Vega and go Vega Altair, go into Trish. You can go ahead and turn it, but then you get your fingers chained up. Yeah, you yeah, you know what, Triv would be a good well. play. So it's not like, uh, yep, because it's not like that, uh, Trish is going to be a threat, because you're going to get your fingers chained back, so. Yeah, you know what, that's true. Get the, yep. <clears throat> Come on, go, Triv. 
You better hope you swipe one of those cards out. There we go. And with his shrit gone, it's not like he can use shit as the entire tribute anymore for Trish again. Yeah, Tr Shrit's gone. That's that's it for the thing. So Trish is stuck in his hand. Actually, yeah. Well, no, but Trish has a secondary ability, though. What is it? During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated, that targets a Necro's. Yeah, it'll just be a... It's like a Baylor, almost. Nothing that's targeting right now. <laughs> no. At least he knows Phoenix Chain's back there. That's the, uh, that's the real rough part right now. Yeah. And if he drops about... Ooh! Ooh. 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 That hurt. Slipping in the face to 21. I'm not saying that the Necro's guy is out of this, because he's not. No. He's got Trish, he has Valken Hand, so I don't know what the other two are, but I know those two are there. And he can still search for another mirror. But the problem is, at this point, is summoning off the Valken, the Trish. He has to use something from the extra deck to summon him. So he, the only play he has is Kaleidomir. I said, you banished your shit. I <laughs> hope it was worth it. <laughs> Right. That, that definitely hurt. This is where you're going to see the only answer is that they're, it's gone. So two of those cards are, at the moment are null and void until he gets Kaleido again. And that's if he even summons them that way. Because, you know, the Necro's monsters, he can go ahead and banish and grab them on the mirror. Yeah, 9, 3. If he had a Colossus in that, he could just send Shooting Quasar. Or Dragon Master Knight, whatever the hell the 12 is. They all want to play. Yeah. Play a lot of different 12s. They play different 12s. <laughs> right. I'm playing Blue Eyes Ultimate. I'm playing Dragon Master Knight. Are you kidding? I was hoping we got Cyberstein back. You know how hilarious it would be to see Infernoids get an OTK? That, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we played 5,000 to fucking beat the shit out of you. <laughs> right? Oh, are you kidding? Have Dev on, have like all the other guys, Ghost Stein, summon Ultimate Dragon, OTK. Damn. Damn. Wow. Mr. He's gave stupid. up. He's like, I can't. I can't. Damn. Mirror Force, Fiendish. Mi wow. Two Mirror Forces and a Fiendish. Mm. Wow. So it looks like he's still playing Mirror Force and stuff. But yeah, Necros is still the best deck, so why not? But, you know, I'm telling you right now, that, that, that matchup right there, if it was against Cleese, that first turn killer would have killed him, so. Well, the way this guy was playing with Necros, he, and, and because he banished, he fucked up. But yeah. seeing what was already in his hand, there's no way he could play him without the Kaleido Mirror. Yeah. There's no way. You can't play him without the Kaleido. So now he's stuck with three cards that he can only use out of five. I mean, what do you do? Yep, and you know that Fiendish Chain is down there. Yep. So even if he made the first summon, the second one, I mean, if he went and summoned the Valk and then, tr and then dropped the Trish to negate the Fiendish Chain, makes sense. But... That's still tossing one to leave the Valk on field, and, you know. And that's not even counting that you didn't know what the Mirror Force is back there, too, so. Yeah, so they would it would in, in the end, this, the Necros player would have been fucked. Yep. <sighs> With no loop. Yep. So, anyway, there you go. An episode of the Endo Commentary. So, yes, you saw it right. Common Knight's beaten uh, Necros 2-0. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you, Ryan, for joining me. Hey, thank you for having me. So, as I said, he is in the league representing uh, the Kaiba White Dragon. So, if you want to go ahead and cheer Ryan on in the league, be sure to. So, I hope you guys are excited for it. And uh, be sure to go over and check out Team Ninja. Link in the description. So, go and click it. Watch the videos. And uh, click that subscribe button. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, see you guys next week with some more Dando commentary. All right, people. Thanks for watching.